hi hello gorgeous people welcome back to my channel and welcome to my closet tour If you're new here, I create fashion, lifestyle, and home decor videos. So if you're into that type of thing, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like, comment, share, do all the good things because I would love to have you back. Now, I know you clicked on this video because it's finally my closet tour. I have been building my closet for, I want to say six months, um, only because I've been very indecisive about it. I've been wanting a closet, a walk-in closet that is um, for quite some time. And I finally am content at the moment <laughs> with what I have created and built. And so I am ready to share that with you guys. So let's just get right into it. So we're gonna do this section by section. I'm gonna explain everything. And um, I try my best to link um, the things that I can in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of the items that I'm sharing, please shop the link. All right, guys. So before I get into each section, you have to know that it, this is from Ikea. I wanted to keep it very budget friendly. And I feel like for what I have so far and the amount of money I spent on it, so worth it. So don't, don't count Ikea out too soon. And this especially worked out for me because I'm like 50 minutes away from Ikea. So as soon as the items were available, I was able to just run and grab each item. Um, a lot of the items were kind of out of stock for a moment. So it kind of took me a while to like get everything together, especially my drawers. The drawers that I'm going to show you guys later in this video were not exactly what I wanted. And they still don't have the ones that um, I wanted. So I just had to settle for for this because I needed to put some, my clothes on there. So. so each of the sections are super deep. I got the deepest of the two options that IKEA carry. So it is 22 inches deep and I got the tallest of all the sections, well both options of the frame. So this is the 92 inch or 98 somewhere it's like the tallest one you guys may be surprised but this is all the clothes that I own I do not have a lot I do a lot of purging I do a lot of donating I switch out my things I'm not attached to the clothes that I buy so I I have a high turnover so this works for me this is enough for me at the moment first of all let's get into the lights um, now I may change this out later on because I'm thinking I want something that illuminates each section better. But these lights I got from Ikea. I have four of them. One of them is in uh, the closet that has doors. Um, but I really, really love um, these lights. They look so good at night. So the first section that I'm going to share with you guys, this one is the uh, 39 inches in width. And the top part, I have all of my jeans. And I think I have a few more in the wash and the one that I'm wearing now and then in the mid part I have all of my blazers these are all the blazers that I've owned that I own you see there's a lot of black and a lot of neutrals and green is my favorite color so I have at least this one and then in the bottom section I have all of my blouses a few um, cardigans but for the most part blouses that I can easily reach for I feel like having this um, section here just makes it very easy for me to see what I have and help me to get dressed a lot faster. And the middle section here has all of my bags, all of my bags and all of my boots. And I kind of have all the bags like color coded. So from the most bright to the most neutral of them all, which is this gray one that I don't reach for quite often. And my Louis Vuittons my Gucci and all of my black bags which is I need to get more of those honestly and more options that is 
and then I have my silvers and like my creams on the bottom and as you can see at the very bottom of this section I have all the boots we're in boot season so the boots needs to be visible and I don't have a lot to be quite honest I'm not a fan of boots meal because I can hardly find boots that fit my calf and then the third open section uh, this is the 29 inch width and for the most part of it I have all of my hats as you can see I have a little decor going on and then all of my fragrances really really love that the picture on the back and I have two more that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit um, this one is a black artist I found out about this artist on Instagram I'll put the name up because I don't remember off the top of my head but I fell in love with her artistry and I just knew once I saw them I need to have them in my my room so that's what I did and then a few of the compartments are pullouts I have my jewelry and then I have sunglasses and as you can see I have my drawers color coordinated to the vibe right now so I have my darks I have whites because I have a lot of those and then my pops of colors because that's really my vibe when it comes to getting dressed I have a lot of neutrals and then I have pops of color and the colors that I usually reach for are green yeah green <laughs> I initially did not want to have doors on but when I completed the closet and I had my shoes and the dresses there I wasn't really into seeing my shoes I, I didn't want to walk in and see my shoes and the way I had my dresses set up I just really wasn't comfortable it looked very unorganized even though it wasn't so I decided to put the doors on to give it a more complete and finished look I only wanted it in this corner so that's what I did and now let's move on to my little cozy section so this section let's start with the curtains and the rise so the rod I got from Target I love the finish of it is not too like gaudy it's like a gold finish but it's not like that antique looking i had one from ikea but i returned it because i really didn't like how it looked and the curtains are from ikea i really love the quality of these and i love that they're not like stark white they actually blend in with the color of the paint in this room so i really like this i only have one window but i didn't want to put like just one set of curtains in front of that window um I wanted it to look a little bit more grand so I like that I, I covered the entire wall with the curtains so I have the three curtains up and I really like it and then this cozy little bench it's actually from CB2 it's very comfortable and I like sitting here just to chill out when I want to get dressed and I want to sit and put my shoes on that's the purpose of this bench and sometimes I'm just on my phone in here just chilling scrolling the internet um sometime i would sit here and edit like my videos and i just really like the vibe of it i like that i decided to go with this instead of i was going to go with something that had storage and i was contemplating something darker um but i really like that i went with this it's perfect and it's it fits my vibe <laughs> and then the two pillows actually the boucle pillow that you see there is also from target and i picked that up randomly one day when i was walking through target you know you walk through target and target tells you what to buy so <laughs> it told me to buy the pillow and i did the other pillow is a old pillow that i had from for quite some time and i like to change out like my covers occasionally not all the time and i wanted i knew i wanted something green in here because that's my favorite color so I bought these covers it came with a pack of two and this is the 20 by 20 covers I got those from Amazon the task clamp is actually from Ikea as well and I'm thinking about switching that one out for something a little bit more sleek this is like very minimal but I want something even more minimal than that but I haven't quite decided yet so I'll probably do like a updated closet tour or something later on or just show you in one of my vlogs right behind that I have a old vision board 
um, that I have there just because uh, we're not gonna get into that and then I have a vase the vase is from home sense I believe um, it's a very old vase um, it's one of the first things I bought when we moved to Virginia when we lived in our apartment and I really just love the vibe of it still and I decided to bring it up here and keep it in my room to like change out my like floral arrangements um, as the seasons change <laughs> and the florals or faux pods that I have in here are from Target I had those downstairs but I felt like it fit the vibe of my room so I now have them up here this curved mirror is from Amazon I know I wanted something with like an arch and I didn't want it too big um, although I'm now considering that I want it, I want something bigger but I feel like something bigger might be too big for the room but I might change my mind <laughs> but I really love the mirror at this moment um, I wanted something black to like just accent um, the other things that I have in here that are black so it works well and it helps when I'm getting dressed I can see myself in full frame now one of my favorite things in the room are these pictures this is also from the artist that I mentioned earlier uh, these were the pictures that I saw first and just fell in love especially the one in the green dress I wanted that pop of color initially I was just gonna do one but then I saw the other one and was like this is perfect this is the type of color that I want to have in the room and actually throughout my whole whole um, home eventually we'll get into art and this is the type of artistry that I want to add to our home so this is a good start and I really love love the paintings I love the paintings very very much so newly added to this room is my mirror uh, my vanity mirror um, I had an antique mirror that I had gotten from anthropology but it wasn't giving what I wanted it to give I may sell that not sure because of where my desk is it, it's kind of hard to put makeup on and not have to turn facing the mirror uh, the window so that I can see myself you know um, clearly there's light coming from only one side of the room so I decided to get this vanity mirror this has made it a lot easier um, when applying my makeup and getting ready to go out. Um, although I was contemplating returning it, but uh, I'll keep it for now. The desk I mostly use <laughs> to get ready, like put my makeup on. Occasionally I may stay here and edit videos. Um, I do a lot of my journaling here. I look at my affirmation cards here, which is in this cute little um, box like jewelry box that I've now decided to hold my affirmation cards in. The box is actually from CB2. I've shared this a long time ago but I've had this for a while um, but I just decided that hey this would be a, a more aesthetic um, way to store my cards so this is where I've been um, storing my, my affirmation cards and um, I would show you the inside of my vanity but it is it's not presentable at this time maybe i'll show you guys that in in a vlog sometime we can you know organize it together this candle smells so good like so 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 good um i got it from zara it was super expensive but i'm only lighting this for you guys um i don't usually light it because on its own like you can walk in the room and smell it without it being lit but i am considering getting like um, one of those um candle lamps where you just turn the light on and it melts it and it just just for safety purposes because this room is not that big and um, it's not good to have like your candles burning in like such a small space in my opinion and then I have little knickknacks on the desk um, one of which where I hold my phone sometimes you know I'm getting ready and I want to watch a YouTube video I can just sit my phone there and do what I need to do and my next favorite thing in this room is this chair this chair I've been wanting forever forever and um, it was on sale and I just I just had to get it you know before you say oh it doesn't look comfortable it actually is <laughs> after I first sat in it it was a bit prickly but I don't know what happened now when I sit in it I don't see little prickles maybe because I wasn't wearing pants when I sat in it the first time <laughs> and then the next thing I want to share is this beautiful rug that I got from Wayfair Wayfair 
comes in clutch when you do need it. And this is not the first rug that I chose. I had one before, the first one, it was too small. I bought another rug, it was too long. And then I decided to go with this square one. This is like, I don't remember, it's a, I think this is a six by six. And I just love the pattern, it fits the vibe. And last but not least is my picture frame. I don't remember the name of the company that I work with, but needless to say i really love this painting this is where i'm from where i grew up um last year saint kids if you guys didn't know i'm a caribbean girl and you know we just do it better i'm just saying i'm not sure where i got the frame from i want to say it's from target but i'm not quite sure but the um i'm not sure if they gave me the frame but then on the floor of the room i have just a plant now i brought this from over in our master bedroom but i'm thinking that this might stay here and i just get something else for over there but i really love the vibe of this it's not too much it's not like overwhelming i first had pompous but the pompous was just too messy like you can't go next to it you touch it it just sheds like i was over that so i got rid of the pompous and now i have my little um, palm leaf. I have a few of my designer boxes on the floor. One from Chanel, like beauty stuff, just for aesthetic. And then the top one, I have my Prada box, but that one you guys know that I use to put my uh, gratitude notes in there um, because I do my gratitude practice at the end of every week. The door that you guys are seeing here is where I store all of my like lighting equipment and my winter coats and just all the other random stuff I keep in here like my sneakers. Um, I have a dresser in here where I have like other camera equipments and overflow of clothes and bags as well. Um, that's that. That is the room guys. It's a super small room, um, but I've learned to make the best of everything. Um, yes, I wish it was a bigger room, um, but I really love it. I love getting dressed in here. It is everything that I had envisioned for the room. I hope you guys wasn't too underwhelmed <laughs> with my closet tour, but I really, really love getting dressed in here and that's all that matters. But I really wanted to share it with you guys and just to give you some inspo. I want to also share that my friend, it's Danielle Yvette, is also doing a closet tour and I wanted to show her some love and have you guys go over to her video and check her closet tour out as well. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It has been long overdue and I so appreciate you guys' patience and just trusting that, you know, I was going to bring something good. I really, really enjoyed recording this for you guys. So I really hope you enjoy it. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to all the good things because we have more good stuff coming for you guys in 2023. And I don't want you to miss any of the uploads. Remember to stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Who you rooting for? They say whatever team better win. I say cool cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in. Yeah, I'm good like that. Yeah, I'm good like that. Who you rooting for? They say whatever team better win. I say cool cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in. Never go to sleep, stay up on my